In this video, we'll give you some tips on setup and tuning for the US Shift Quick 4 transmission control system, and many of these points also apply to the Quick 2. This information can be helpful to those who are in the market for the latest in electronic transmission control, as well as those who've already purchased one of our controllers. This procedure is for firmware version 5.6 and up. If your controller has older firmware, watch our previous video linked in the description below. Connect the controller to a laptop to further customize its tuning. This is optional since the controller will have a tune loaded on it specifically for your vehicle. However, if you wish to dive into the deeper settings of the tune, a computer will be needed and, if possible, a laptop will make tuning much easier. The latest version of Shiftware can be found on the CD that came with the controller or downloaded from usshift.com under the Support Software section. While the Quick 4 is fully adjustable in virtually every aspect of your transmission's performance, we've created several initial calibrations, or tunes, to help you get started. These tune files were built from months of research based on actual vehicle testing. This takes the guesswork out of initial setup and lets you start driving immediately after installation. We strongly recommend starting with one of these tunes. They're a good starting point for just about any vehicle combination and will reduce the possibility of errors. In Shiftware, click the Open icon. Under the default directory, you'll find the pre-made tunes. For each transmission, there are three wide open throttle shift points. 6000 RPM, 5500 RPM, and normal RPM, which is 5000 RPM. If you have a diesel engine, choose that tune instead. After opening a default tune, it's a good idea to review some basic settings. Click the System Settings gear icon. Your transmission will appear in the drop-down box if you've selected the right calibration. Transmission modified to allow first gear TCC should only be checked if your transmission has been specially modified and you've been instructed to do so by one of our technicians. Click the speed sensor and gearing button. Leave speed sensor type as standard 40 PPR output shaft speed sensor unless you are using a different speed sensor. Enter your rear gear ratio and tire height information. Leave tachometer input type as 8-cylinder conventional ignition unless your application differs. If an input shaft or turbine speed sensor is available and connected, check the Enable Input Shaft Turbine Speed Sensor box. This option provides more accurate torque converter clutch control and provides improved slip detection. For initial setup and driving purposes, leave all other features and selections at their default setting. Close the Settings window. Click File and Save As. Name your custom configuration whatever you'd like. Remember, the tune isn't updated on the controller until you click Write Calibration to Controller and then choose the table you want this tune saved to. Now that the tune is on the controller, you're ready to calibrate the throttle position sensor. For help with calibrating the TPS, watch our throttle position setup guide. When you're satisfied with your transmission's performance, you can make further adjustments to the tune in Shiftware. There are many ways to customize your transmission's behavior, and if you'd like an in-depth tour of them, be sure to check out our Settings Explained playlist. Feel free to contact US Shift with any questions you may have regarding the Quick 4 or any of our products.